is the RTX 3050 still good for video editing this 2025? Let's find out. RTX 3050 is very cheap nowadays. Actually, you can get one for $204 only. So if you have a very tight budget and you're building your own PC for video editing, I am sure you are considering buying an RTX 3050 for your setup. But there's one thing that's stopping you. A lot of people are giving bad feedback about RTX 3050. Some say it's outdated, others say it's a trash, and most of them say if you have this, you must upgrade your PC as soon as possible. So I am here and I am using this RTX 3050 in the past 6 months in video editing. And let's all find out if RTX 3050 is still worth buying this 2025. I have your three monitors, Ryzen 7 5700X, 32GB of RAM, and 6GB of RTX 3050. I use my PC for video editing because that's my job. By the way, I'm a podcast editor so the videos I edit were long. The software I use when I am video editing is DaVinci Resolve and CapCut. Plus, ton of applications were open while I am editing. As you can see, I can edit smoothly without lagging, even I am multitasking. So let's try exporting this 26 minute video. On this test, CPU is working more than the GPU. That's quick, very impressive. It only took 6 minutes and 37 seconds. So let's try on CapCut. Hmm, CapCut utilizes the GPU more than the CPU. But the export was faster than the Vinci. Very impressive. As you can see, I can export while multitasking and it's not giving me an issue. The real reason behind it is because if you were editing videos, it is not GPU intensive task, rather a CPU intensive task. If you notice earlier on the task manager, CPU has more work than the GPU. So if you are building a setup for video editing, I highly suggest that you invest more on CPU and RAM rather than the GPU. But if you are building a PC for gaming, invest more on better GPU like 4060 or 4070. There's no doubt about that. So let's go back to the question earlier. Is RTX 3050 still worth buying this 2025? For me, it's a big yes. How about you guys? What do you think?